Hey everybody, it's Party Elite here with another episode of my Battletech Let's Play. It should be a pretty interesting session today. I have a lot of changes happening to my lineup, as you can see over here in the timeline. And we are going to dive right into a contract as well. Hard target, two and a half skulls. Should be pretty interesting, but we are waiting for just one of our mech warriors to be ready to go. Behemoth here is out of action for 18 days. Unfortunately, there is a financial report between now and then, so it will be struck by that. Now, here's what's happened between sessions. I sold a bunch of extra ammo and equipment that I don't need to get myself a decent amount of funds that we were making sure that we're not uh, close to bankruptcy or closer to bankruptcy than I like being at any given time. The Kentaro, the Wolverine, and the Firestarter, they're just getting repair jobs. Nothing too major going on over there. The Hunchback, now named the Partyback, thanks to a glorious suggestion, uh, is going to be swapped around a little bit. We're just changing all of the regular M lasers, or most of the regular M lasers, and replacing them with uh, M laser plus pluses. There's extra accuracy, extra damage, things like that across the board. And we also gave it a couple of jump jets. The party back is going to be a true party vehicle. It's going to jump into combat. It's going to pop a bunch of lasers. We're going to have laser lights going on. We're going to have party elite driving it more often than not, piloting it, I should say. Just two jump jets, though, so not a lot of range, but it will help us get height advantages every once in a while. And then we also have the Orion. Again, a lot of these changes are thanks to suggestions in the comments. I do love getting those suggestions. We have AC-20 Plus in there and three AC-20 ammo buckets, so... Hopefully that's enough ammo, we'll find out. We've also removed some of the LRMs and replaced them with SRM-6s, and we also have an SRM-4 in there, if I recall correctly. And then we've also added some heat sinks to try and run a little bit cooler. So, in 18 days, all of that work will be done, and Behemoth will be ready to roll as well. So we're just going to move the timeline forward ever so slightly, and, uh, you know, again, hopefully go in there with full force, make as much money as we can before the next financial report. And I might also do the next main sort of story mission as well, We've got a couple of heavies in here. We've got some good mechs going, so we could try that out. Right, there's that financial report. We're at 1.4 million. I don't like that. You know what? We're going to stick with generous, because that is who I am. I am a generous leader. So we'll take the risk. Hopefully we can stack some missions and make some money back. Seven days until Behemoth's ready. I'm ready to roll. Uh, and again, a, a story mission will also help us out a fair bit. In the worst case scenario, we can sell stuff. We have a lot of excess goods. All right, all work is completed. Moonlighting with an auto cannon. The hell? While pacing through the mech bay on a sleepless night, you stumble across Decker. He's fiddling with a stock auto cannon. A jumbled pile of loose metal and wire litters the deck plating around him. As you approach, Decker looks up, a sheepish grin on his face. Uh, hello, Commander. I was just trying to tune this beauty. Maybe get a little more performance out of her. Could you do me a favor and keep this from the Chief, though? He's already shooed me out of here once this week. Remind him that's not a mech warrior's job, let him keep working at it. Unfortunately, he is neither bookish or a technician, so we can't um, use any of these, but let's we'll let him keep working at it. He's enthusiastic, I don't want to... I like Decker. Go ahead, buddy. I suppose that was in storage for a reason, so we can afford to lose it if things go wrong. Just be careful. These weapons are meant to destroy mechs, after all. Later that week, Decker catches you in the hall with an update. Commander, I'm sorry to report that I wasn't able to modify that weapon like I wanted to, but I, will, I was able to put it back together again just the way it was before. Double and triple checked it to be sure. It'd be hilarious if it, like, explodes um, in the middle of a mission. All right, so we're good. Got the financial report. Behemoth's ready to roll. So we're going to go in for that contract and hopefully make not just some decent money, but also some salvage. And then we can maybe go and do Liberation Smithen. All right. An elite mech warrior has been deployed to take command of pirate forces in this system. We need a skilled mercenary force to remove this mech warrior before they reach their command, while they're only lightly escorted. Every downed mech will help our cause, so there will be a bonus for complete destruction of the target's supporting forces. Additionally, the mech warrior's command may send out an escort unit to meet them. Expect enemy reinforcements once you engage. Fair enough. The pirate mech warrior is headed to a major military compound on Bringdom where they'll take command of a company-sized mech force and become untouchable. They're en route to the encampment, but until they arrive, they're vulnerable. Okay, so I am hoping that the salvage on this mission will be good. An elite mech warrior, probably in an elite mech, right? So we're going to negotiate this for max salvage. Worst case scenario, we can sell some of the mechs that we scrape up off the ground, right? So let's accept that and move in for this mission. All right, so first things first, we're going to put the Kintaro away and drop in the party back instead with all of its M lasers and M laser plus pluses. 
lots of heat sinks on this party back as well just to keep it running you know even moderately cool would be nice but yeah replacing the kintaro so that's a lot of stability damage we're losing but i think that's okay i'm willing to try that out and let's swap the wolverine out as well or we swap the fire starter out for the orion <sighs> have Decker in this fast-moving Orion. It's got a pretty decent melee attack as well, 95 damage out of it. Might not be a terrible idea, actually. No, that, that is a terrible idea. Let's get the Wolverine out of here. Let's get the Orion down here. Let's get Behemoth in the Orion. Behemoth in the Behemoth mech. I do wonder, though, if Decker should be in the Wolverine or the Kentaro instead. Might be a little too... You know what? No, I like the Firestarter. It's two and a half skulls. What's the worst that could happen? Let's deploy and uh, see what damage we can do. All right, here goes. Hopefully that elite mech warrior is in an elite mech and we can salvage it. Okay, Commander, Intel says the target and their escorts will be moving through this area. Orbital recon shows a group of military units in the vicinity. We believe that's the objective. What are you? Ooh... Is that the uh, Stalker? Is that what it's called? My future LRM boat? Certainly looks like it. Hell yeah. Take them out and then head for the evac zone. So I, I want to drop that mech for sure. I want to cause the pilot injuries. All right. Let's see. So they're all over here. That's where the uh, elite mech warrior is. Could use the trees on the side over here. There's like high ground and stuff as well. So maybe, maybe let's creep up this way. I do want to use the water as well, actually. Maybe we should split. Glitch this way. Behemoth with all of that heat generation this way. Get the fire starter sprinting up this way as well. Hopefully flanking. And let's get the party back over here. Alright. Can't wait to see these big boys in action. It's a pretty heavy duty mix. Oh no, don't ambush me. Don't do that to me. Or if you're going to do it to me, do it when I'm in the water. Glitch, or rather, let's get the slow mechs moving first. Party, you're the slowest. Let's get you right up to here. I have to consider my range as well. Not the greatest range on these mechs. And Behemoth, you're up as well. Let's get you here. Let's get the Shadowhawk over here. That's a good enough location, I think. Yeah, that's a huge range, just short of these pips, but good enough. I think we're hiding behind this rock as well to keep us safe. And let's get Decker in that fire starter. Uh, I guess we'll just sprint you up to here, leaving you exposed. No, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Let's move you up to here. Okay. On my way. I imagine this is about the time where we're going to detect the enemy. No? Oh, there we go. Oh, time dear. Earn our money. Oh, dear. <laughs> Gets a couple more mechs than I'd expected. Okay, well, that's a scout. 30 tonner. Let's reserve Decker. I wouldn't mind doing the jump, shoot, shoot, jump thing. That's a 30 tonner over there as well. 25 tonner over here. What's 25 tons? Locust? Um, I don't think that's 25 tons. Spiders? Are they 25 tons? I'm not sure. Alright, let's reserve again. Again, if I can save all the way, see all the movements, and then move accordingly. Send Decker in for, again, that uh, ace, the use of the ace pilot. Move, shoot, everybody else can shoot, and then Decker can shoot and move. That's a 55 tonner, so I have to keep my eye on that. What are you? Okay. Got some 50 tonners here. Ooh, that's a hunchback. It's gonna fire at Decker. It's gonna get a headshot. No, okay. I could have sworn one of those was a head hit. Am I gonna wait again? Is there any point in waiting again? AC 20, S laser, M laser. Wait, no. This doesn't have any LRMs. So what shot me with the LRMs? Was it the stalker or whatever I saw? Time will tell. All right, let's reserve. Standing by. All right, cool. My turn. All right. Decker, you're yep, up commander. first. So we're going to jump and we're going to get 
can't get behind the Hunchback, unfortunately. We can't get behind anything, unfortunately. Could get some head hits on the Hunchback. Do I want a Hunchback? Maybe. Might as well, perhaps. Could use the trees over here. Why not? Let's go in. It should give us a vision as well. Oh, you know what? No, he's got... Uh, he's braced. That might be a waste. Maybe we jump in over here instead of 20-tonner. We could get rid of the 20-tonner nice and early. 55s, 30s. And this one's what? 25? 25. Yeah, it's like, do we get rid of the heavy hitters first or do we get rid of the, uh, the lighter ones? Let's go against this one, the 20-tonner. Let's jump over here. Again, we're going to move, shoot, shoot, move. Okay, what are we seeing here? There's a griffin. There's a Kintaro. There's a Locust. Hunchback. Alright, well, first things first, we're gonna fire away at the Locust. Cause as much hurt as possible. Okay, good. I'll take the head hit. Man, I hate how they're all using... They're all guarded. I now, hear Glitch, you're able to fire away. I wonder if we shouldn't get one of these to topple over. There's a spider there. Maybe the hunchback. Between the hunchback or the griffin. We don't have a griffin. You know what? Let's, uh, let's drop the griffin. Well, let's try to drop the griffin. 70% hit chances only, eh? Jeez. 80 over here. Well, okay, that just makes sense then. Fine. Let's go after the Hunchback. Hope for the best despite the one evasive pip. Fire away. Go, 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 go. If we're lucky we'll get a couple head hits here and there. No, of course not. <laughs> Behemoth, you're up. Waiting for orders. Yeah, not even, not even able to fire this turn. I wonder if I should wait back here. Or if I should sprint and use the trees. Probably a good idea to sprint and use the trees for the cover. Let's do this. We can fall back into the water. I, again, I don't know how heat inefficient the Orion is. Party, are you able to fire? No. Might as well sprint you as well. Get you into the trees. And we want to be using Bulwark as quickly as possible. All right, we got this, we got this. Okay. Spider's gonna move in, maybe try to hit Firestarter over here, or Decker over here. We've got the evasive pips though, so we should be all right. Yep, yeah, excellent. Now Decker's up, and Decker. Standing by. Oh, it's so much more tempting to hit the Spider. It's got less damage reduction. Now we're already working on the Locust, we might as well keep working on the Locust. Sure, cool. Got another head hit. <laughs> Why not? Let's get ourselves a locust, right? And now we can jump the hell out of here. Let's go where? Like to keep things in sight. Let's go here. There. Man, that's a lot of mechs on the other side of the field. That's a lot of mechs on the other side of the field. It's kind of insane. But a lot of them are light, actually. So if I just focus down, I should be able to finish them off pretty quickly. I think I should do that. Let's focus on the lighter mechs first and try to drop them. Except for that hunchback that we hit with Glitch. I was hoping to have him tip over, but we don't have enough uh, stability damage collectively, I don't think. Come a couple of shots. It's okay, as long as we don't get head hits on us. Light damage, Commander. All right, Glitch. You're not able to hit the hunchback anymore, are you? Locust has already taken some hurt. Got the evasive pips though, 50% chances, 60%, and 50% are well. Gonna let the numbers do the talking here, and the spider is hopefully going to uh, take a bit of a beating. Come on, come on, do more than that. Okay, okay, good stuff, good stuff. What's next, the Kintaro? What do you got? Oh boy. I'd be lying if I didn't say I was a little concerned. Yeah, I'm a little concerned. Party, you're up. What can you hit? The Kintaro. 
the spider, which is already hurt, or the locust, which is already hurt. 40% versus 65s and 70s. That's an easy decision. Wonder if we should try to core it. Just to get rid of it once and for all. I want to save the precision strike actually for behemoth, I think. Morale's at 78. This will cost 20, so we'll still have some left over. No, you know, let's not use it. Let's not use it right now. So fire away. This should be good enough. Come on now. Come on now. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. That's what I need. That's the kind of performance I need right now. It's the kind of party I'm talking about. Right, Griffin's going to roll up. Got to hit my fire starter here. Miss. Good. I like that. What is this 55 tonner? Was that an AC 20 or an AC 10? That looked like a lot of damage coming out of that. And that's the hunchback, right? Yep. That's an AC 20. I, oh God. Oh my God, that's so much hurt. And we're unsteady, oh dear. Okay, so I guess that is the uh, stalker or whatever firing away with its LRMs. I think we're good. We're okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Damage minimal. Okay. Where do we fire? What do we try to take down first? I mean, I'm not going to lie. That AC-20 was pretty terrifying. Where is that AC-20? Right torso. I could try to shoot that thing down. If we focus on the central torso, if we're lucky, the AC-20 will almost strip the armor and then everything else will go in there and cause a fair bit of hurt. I want to take that risk. Do I want the Hunchback? I kind of want it, but not at the risk of that AC-20 being active. Let's do it. On it. Nice. Oh, really? We hit that instead. Well, hey, at least that'll destroy the AC-20, if anything. Okay, okay, okay. Reporting critical hit. In comes the spider. We're still okay. That Orion is taking a bit of a beating, actually. All right, Decker, you're up. You want to try to roll in and kill the spider off, or... Ooh, I could jump and fire into the back of the Kintaro. Does have cover, unfortunately. Other option is to do what? Nothing too significant, it seems like. Get into the back of the griffin over here. What do you got? 35s and 90s. Okay. 45s and 90s. We're already working on you, so I'd hate to waste the work we've already done. Fine, let's jump into the back of the Kentaro. Fire away. Hope we'll survive. We've got cover from the trees. We've got massive numbers of evasive pips. Fire at either of them, actually. You know what? I think I'm better off firing at the Griffin. only because there's no cover. Hmm. And the armor is also less. Alright, you know what? Let's fire on the griffin. Let's do it. I copy. Cool. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll do it. I'll take it. There's a commando. Did I see the commando earlier? No, that's a 25 tonner that I don't think I identified earlier. Fair enough. Really working away at this, uh, this Orion, aren't you? Oh, God. Just the numbers here, the sheer quantity. It's kind of ridiculous. You're firing at the Shadowhawk, of all things? Alright, my turn. Glitch, you're up. I think we can actually drop the Hunchback here. Would not mind doing that, and if we get this thing destroyed at the same time, we'll get two injuries in one swoop, which I like. Let's fire away, come on. Drop that hunchback. Okay, there's the knockdown. Of course, we didn't get any hits here. I didn't expect it. We're coming from the wrong side for that, but, you know, one can dream. Right? Lost initiative. Pilot injured. Party elite is up after this Kintaro, who hopefully won't do too much. Oh dear. We're not in a good spot. 
I'm gonna be honest. We're not in a very good spot. Do we finish the hunchback off? Or do we work away at something else? That hunchback is down to one. So we will still have shots from Behemoth. To potentially finish him off. Alright. Let's work on the Kentaro maybe. I don't know. Maybe the Griffin. No, no cover on the Griffin or anything. Between the Griffin and the Hunchback. The Hunchback could still be shot by Behemoth. So let's work on the Griffin here. And I wonder if we should Precision Strike... Got enough to get rid of... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Pop that CT. Not on the Kentaro. On the Griffin. Thank you. Alright, come on, baby. Give me a nice Alpha Strike here. That was terrible. That was terrible. <laughs> Shadowhawk's coming in as well. I wonder what that's kitted out with. Definitely someone who can sensor lock. Catapult. Okay, it looked like a stalker. Enemy flanking. Buddy. <laughs> Relax. Alright, Behemoth, you're up. Tell me you've got... You don't. I'm about to risk moving this thing? Oh, dear. Be honest, I don't want to. I don't want to. Could instead focus on the Griffin here. Could even multi between the Griffin and the Kintaro. Let that Hunchback get back up just to make it fall again. We crit that AC-20. Let's try that. Alright, multi. Let's get the Griffin. Hopefully we'll hit that central torso with... Let's see, this is 50. 8 times 4 is 32. Right. Oh god, watch me do terrible math right now. Yeah, I think we, if we just hit it with the SRMs... Wait, it's 8 times 10. We're just short. Oh boy. Alright, let's save the AC-20 for... Buddy here. Let's do this. Because that'll ignore the uh, cover as well. Thanks to having breaching shot. Alright, let's fire away. Hope for the best. Multiple enemies locked in. Said let's hope for the best. Come on, baby, work for me. Not surprised. Turn around, fire on the Kentaro. There we go. Good hit. Good hit. Good hit. What are you gonna do? That Griffin wants to get punched. Alright, we're still okay. Still not dead. Hunchback's getting up. We can hopefully drop it again. We're gonna turn around and hit something. I just don't know what. Maybe the Orion. It looks like the Orion is the primary target for the AI right now. Certainly not wrong. The AC-20 is still firing nicely. And we need to fall back into the water as well. We are overheating. Decker, you're up. You are up. We could jump you. And hit something in the back. The Kentaro looks ripe for the pickings. We've got the Griffin over here as well. Let's say we go after the Griffin. Get the evasion, get the cover, move in and try to drop this griffin. We've been working at it, right? So, why not? Let's try it. Lifting off. Decker's a goddamn hero. He's going to try and be a hero again. It's the only way to live. Completely ignore the mech that's right in front of us. Fire away. Confirmed. Oh, those look like good hits. Those were good hits. All right, cool. Cool. Solid connection Again, I want to ignore this griffin if possible. Spider's going to move in now, alright. Okay, okay. Not too worried about that. It's a lot of fast mechs that get the first, like, that get the drop on me. Oh. The Shadowhawk needs to move. It's a good flanking maneuver coming in from the side here. Might actually lose that leg. All right, party, I think you're water, up, Commander. and if we send you in to hit the Kentaro, if we're lucky, we'll drop the, uh... Now, you know what? Let's get Glitch Commander. firing first, I think, onto the Hunchback. That leg is hurting. 
We could move you. We don't need the water. We need cover. Nothing will give us a direct line of fire into the hunchback. Ooh, if we move here, still 70% hit chances, though. Get into the trees for some cover. Probably not a bad idea. Because, again, I don't need the water. I need cover. I need protection. Almost tempted to stay put, even. If I use the jump jets, I can get over here with the extra evasion as well. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that with the jump jets. Alright, let's pop on over. Engaging jump jet. Fire into the hunchback. Hope to drop it. And maybe we can damage that torso piece as well if we're lucky. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And it's going to drop. That should be the third injury. If we get the drop with party elite, no, it's going to move right through the terrain like this camera. I've been center locked. Okay, we're good. Party, what can you hit? Hit the hunchback. Can't drop it though, unfortunately. Only has an S laser and an M laser. Not really the main target for me anymore. I could move in and punch the spider and destroy it. Got a melee of 80 on this thing, plus 20 off the S laser. Probably not a bad idea. Alternatively, I could hit it with everything, but I do need to cool down. And we can ignore all the evasion as well. So you know what? Let's go in and punch the spider. Let's go. It's party time. Just like punch right down on its skull, crush it like it can, or do that instead and destroy its leg because, you know, that's helpful. At least it'll knock down. <sighs> Not exactly what I had in mind, but I'll take it. All right now, all of the AI's mechs are going to move in and cause so much damage right now. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. This is going to suck. Oh, what? This is not what I would have expected at all. <laughs> Alright, here's a Shadow Hawk now. Who are you gonna hit? Ooh. I need to keep my back protected here. Took a risk, let's see if it'll pay off. Let's see if it'll pay off. Alright, Catapult's gonna fire away with his LRMs. We're good, we're good, we're good. Not so good. Alright, Behemoth, you're up. Waiting for orders. Let us hit the Kintaro. I could go in for a punch. 95 on the melee there, but 100 on the AC-20, and then everything else. So yeah, let's fire. Okay, okay. Got some damage. Took some damage. Not the happiest about that. Decker, you're up after the commando, I guess. It's a goofy looking walk. We're okay. We're okay, we're okay. Still okay. Alright, Decker, we need to drop this griffin. We need to drop this griffin. There's 44 health there, and there's 44 here. Now jump right into your back we move we can't oh we can but only in the side here so i'd much rather jump okay make sure that's the rear angle yep yeah, this is so important right now i wonder if we can't jump into the trees and still get a rear angle shot of course not that's the side all right here goes copy that here goes for glory you gotta do it, man. You gotta drop this griffin. Four team hit points. Hit. That 14 is gonna be the death of me, isn't it? Alright. Still okay. Damage minimal. 
party. I think you need to get back here. I could turn around and punch for 100 damage total. Or I could get behind this thing and cause some damage. I could do this to get the trees. Oh man, the risks I'm taking right now. Let's do it. Let's do, let's do this. All right, there's those jump jets. I'm so glad I put them in there. And let's fire away into the back of the Kentaro, and hopefully this will be the death of it. Come on. Kidding me. The spider's not going to destroy anything too valuable here. Alright. I'm going to deal with Decker, it looks like. Oh, we're good. We got too many evasive pips for that. All right, Glitch, you're up. Waiting for orders. You need to jump, I think, again to get the evasion. And then we can fire into the back of the Griffin and into the... I wish we could fire into the back of both. I truly do, but I can't. I can't. Gotta hope for the best. I think this is the most nervous I've been in a while. Actually, no. Trouble in the previous episode was in a lot of trouble. All right, multi. Let's get lucky. Come on. Let's get lucky. 5 times 5 is 25. Should be enough to get rid of the griffin here. Let's do it. Come on, baby. Of course not. All right. Good, good, good. But now we're screwed. So many enemy mechs all at once. If we're lucky, they're going to think about the wrong mechs like they're doing right now. Critical hit. Nice. One, I think. Okay. Griffin, what are you up to? Don't mess with party. It's the leg gone, damn it. Gonna take an injury from that drop as well. Not a fan of that. Alright, alright. What's this hunchback gonna do again? We need to drop this hunchback and we can get it. Get that pilot injury. You know, even though it doesn't have an arm, but that's okay. Alright. We're fine. We're, we're fine. God, this thing's gonna pop its LRMs. Still going for my torso piece here. Trying to kill me. And the Shadowhawk. What are you going to hit? Are they trying to drop Orion there as well? Alright. Behemoth, you're up. What do we hit? The Hunchback? Destroy the Hunchback. I could rotate. Try to destroy the Shadowhawk. Try to destroy the Shadowhawk. Could I? I could, I guess. These are all pretty weak, and I could work at them with uh, Decker and and me. Just a little worried that there won't be a Decker or a party by the end of this. That Hunchback is also doing far too well. All right, let's rotate like this. We're gonna try and take down the Shadowhawk because I don't want the Shadowhawk. I want the Shadowhawk dead. Turn off some of these lasers. Uh, not good enough. Just the AC-20 then. We will shut down. Or burn up. We might lose an arm. Wow. Generating a lot of heat, Commander. Should have pulled him back and pulled her back into the water. The spider's rolling. Behind the shadow? No, into the fire starter once again. That's fine. Decker's okay. Decker's a hero. Decker's also up next. Who do we kill? The Kintaro? The Griffin. I think the Griffin. Waiting for orders. Can we? That's the annoying part. We can't hit him in the back. 
you know, if we hit the griffin from the front and we get lucky. No, I, I can't rely on luck like that. I've been doing it too much. At one point, it's going to run out. What about the Kintaro? Let me, let me see the Kintaro, please. Game. Thank you. Yeah, definitely, definitely the griffin. Ready for orders. Yeah, let's jump you over to here. Use the tree still. And right into the back of the griffin. Gonna fire away. Hope for the best. Now let's see how you handle We've this. got this. Come on. Nice. Okay, good, good, good. I like that. Tango down. Decker, ever the savior. That mech just hovering over the party back. Decker comes in, swoops in to save the day. Right. So Ryan's in a bit of a trouble spot. I don't like that. Maybe I can just punch this locust next time it's Behemoth's turn. Or maybe the commando. Ooh. Called shot to the head, really? That's how you're gonna play it? That's how you're gonna play it, buddy? Warning. Glitch, you're up. We could fire away at that hunchback again and hope for the best. I'm pretty comfortable with that, I think. Alternatively, I could jump. Nah, there's really no point. It's the evasive pips that I was thinking about, but you know what? Let's fire away at the hunchback. And yes, let us hope for the best. Not gonna cause enough stability damage. Affirmative. Come on now, come on now. Well, it's unsteady, there's that. Alright, Kentaro is up. Gonna lose the leg? No, I'm good. Alright, good. Party can get up and destroy that then. Hopefully. Hopefully. There's that catapult again. Please don't fire at party. <laughs> Please don't get your LRMs to hit me in the head. Ooh. Baby, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. Alright, Behemoth, who do you want to punch? Who's more dangerous? Two SRM2s and an M laser, or an M laser, an L laser, and an SRM2? I guess you're more dangerous. It's moving this way. 95 on the punch. Takes us closer to water as well. Let's ignore evasion. The other option, of course, is to fire at the Shadowhawk and hope it drops. Can't get into the water or anything. Now let's, let's punch this commando, I think. Can't, it doesn't let me right-click different uh, mechs anymore. That's weird. All right, the Locust has what? I think the Locust is probably easier to destroy. Standing by. Well, we're going to take our chances. No time for math, only passion. Let's go. On my way. Punch the crap out of this commando. On for physical on. Attack. That is the worst thing that could have happened. The worst thing that could have happened. Now we have moved, we don't have Bulwark, and we missed our hit. And we're not getting any colder either. It's like a cocktail of the worst possible things that could have happened. Alright, I'm gonna stand up, and what do we hit? Shadowhawk, the Hunchback, the Kintaro, we could cause a fair bit of damage there. Unfortunately, we don't have access to the rear arc. Maybe if we jump... Nope, still no luck there. We fire away at the Hunchback instead, but all the real damage dealers over there are destroyed. Shadowhawk is an ideal target, potentially, but that's not going to fall. I think the Kentaro is the way to go. Move over here. Hope we get lucky with some rear shots, maybe. Taking so much damage. We have taken so much damage on this mech. Didn't think this mission was going to be such a hard one. Damage. Not going to lie. I'm aware the speed is reduced. I can see it. I can feel it. Guess we're going to overheat a little bit. Not the end of the world. We can keep it down, actually. So let's do this. Cool. I'll take it. Alright. Fire into the back of my Shadowhawk. Is that what you're planning? That Shadowhawk is not meant to take shots into its back. Alright, Decker, you're up. 
Let's drop this Kintaro once and for all, I think. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Fire away. All weapons are go. We're lucky. We're not lucky. That's two injuries, though, so that's good. Damage. The commander's gonna pull back and hit me with an L laser and completely destroy the Orion, isn't it? I guess not. Shadowhawk's in trouble. For the first time in a long time, that Shadowhawk's in trouble. Alright, we're good here. This Locust is gonna cause me pain as well. Alright, we're good. We're good, we're good. Armor breach. Now, who's damage. moving first? Party or the Kintar- or, or, or Glitch? Good to go. You've already moved. Maybe party. Should fire back here. Yeah, you know what? Alright, party. Let's get you back to here. You're gonna multi, I think. I could get you into the water, actually. So let's get you into the water. Risk everything. You can jump into the water for the one evasive pip. Oh dear. Alright, let's do this. Pop you like this. We're going to destroy the Kentaro rather easily, I should hope. Okay. Multi. Hit the Kentaro with almost everything. And then hit the Shadowhawk, perhaps? Or the Commando. Let's go with the Shadowhawk. All right. Man, these are not good hit chances. I guess we're better hitting the commando. It's just because of the evasive pips. The other option is the hunchback. We destroy, we put, we risk destroying it, but I don't think I want to do that. All right, let's do this instead. Got to do the trick. We also have the S laser here firing into the Kentaro. Between the M, one of the M lasers and the S laser, we should be fine there. This is a big risk. Let's do it. Multiple Are you kidding me? Okay, good. Oh my god, that <laughs> could have been terrible. And we're missing with everything. Okay. It's fine. We're fine. We're good. We're fine. Oh my god. A party back. <laughs> is being wrecked. All right, Glitch. We could get back here and destroy the spider. Seems like a waste of some very good equipment. We could fire away at the Hunchback and hope to drop it again. We could jump, get some of those evasive pips happening. Or we could actually fire into the backs of some of these fools. Oh, I think we need to get over here. Use the trees for cover. And what is this? This is the left leg. So let's expose our left leg as much as possible. It's really not an ideal spot for me. Yeah, there's nowhere I can really hide. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Hope for the best. Got to drop this hunchback. And if we destroy it, so be it. No time to be picky anymore. What are we going to lose? Are we going to lose any arms here? Any legs here? Fire away. Such is life. Such is life. I would have liked it, but can't risk it anymore. I need to drop these mechs. This thing's going to be a pain as well. Oh no. That's the CT, isn't it? Party needs to leave. All right, Behemoth, you're up. Who's going to move next? Everyone's going to move next. Who's number four? Locust is number four. The Spider is a number four as well. We can move in and get a punch into the back of something. 95 damage isn't all that much. Or I could fire into the back of this Shadowhawk and just, like, completely wreck its day. We could multi as well, of course. That is always an option. I could move into the water. I think I'd rather use Bulwark. Alright. Let's 
rotate. Get everybody within view, and we're gonna multi. All right, the Shadowhawk. We're gonna hit you with the AC 20. And with a bunch of other stuff, actually. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. And this. Because we wanna use a uh, breaching shot as well. These guys have cover. Okay, I think that should do the trick. Fingers crossed. I copy. Damn. Good damage there. Nice. Okay. Alright. I'm nervous. I'm guessing you can tell. We good. Decker, you're up. Time to be a hero. Time to be a goddamn hero. Do we drop this Shadowhawk? I can't get behind it, unfortunately, but I could distract it. I can get behind the spider and pop shots and hopefully wreck its day. Maybe draw some aggro here as well. Let's do it. Let's go. Jumping. Let's go. Let's go. There's no time to waste. Fire away. Don't hit the water. Hit the mech. <laughs> nice. Hopefully that'll distract the uh, the mech there and the mech warrior. This commando is uh, frighteningly moving in reverse. Ooh. We're okay. We're alive. We're okay. No one's dead. I think Glitch is up first here. Who do we hit? The Shadowhawk? Shadowhawk's up next. It's a viable target. Precision strike it. Hit that CT potentially. Oh, that's so much armor. No, you know what? Let's just fire away. I could move into the water. It's tempting. Jump, I can't get behind it. I fire from this side. If I fire from the left of the mech, which I can't get to, unfortunately. Damn. Damn. Alright, well, let's uh let's jump on over here. I just get the evasive pips because they're nice and helpful, and then we'll work away at the uh the Shadowhawk. Yes, let's do this. Let's do just that. And if we overheat a little bit, it's not the end of the world. We might lose an arm and a leg. <laughs> the cost of this mission is almost literally going to be an arm and a leg, I think. More than an arm and a leg. Come on. Okay, 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 okay. Unsteady. You can fry an egg in here. Now the Shadowhawk's going to get to fire, unfortunately. Should have worked on destroying it somehow. No idea what else I could have done. Who are you going to hit? Walk on me. Sensor lock. Ooh, all right. That's a waste. Can't be out of ammo. It's got an M laser. All right, party, you're up. Who do we hit? <gasps> Nobody, apparently. Okay, this is probably for the best that I actually try to get the hell out of here. Oh my god, this mech is in so much trouble. So much trouble, this mech. I could eject. Head will be destroyed. I mean, <laughs> there's like nothing left of this mech anyway. There's no weapons capabilities. If I keep it out there, it's gonna die. Let's leave. Confirm. Party lead, get the hell out of here. Ejecting. No point staying out there. We gotta delegate, and right now I'm delegating the rest of this mission to the rest of my lance. You can see daylight through my armor. Okay, we're okay. Not dead yet. Behemoth, you're up. I could fire into the back of the Shadowhawk and kill it once and for all, or I could get behind this command. I think that's the way to go. Let's go behind the commando and hit it with goddamn everything. I'm also tempted to cool down and then fire into the side of this thing. Which is not a bad idea, to be honest. Who's up next, though? I think the commando's up next? No, you're not. Actually, yes, you are. You're turn four. You're turn four and you're turn three. So it's either the spider or the commando that's up next. The spider... We can wreck. And the commando we can wreck as well. 
Damn, hard, hard decision. Hard decision here. Let's do this. Let's wreck them both. Let's try to wreck them both at least. Position confirmed. And like burn at the same time, maybe lose an arm. All right, so multi. The back of you does not need a 100 shot, but the front of you could use one. All right, so you're A. Okay, shutdown alert. That's not so good. Let's go with B, B. Turn this off. No, we're still shutting down. Overheat. Overheat's okay. Shutting down is not so much. All right, come on. Do it for me. Or or can, what if what if we do this? Still just overheating, right? Let's try it. There. Maximum chances. Fire away. Roger that. Damn it. So I'm gonna hit him in the CT. Bang into your back. No, not wrecking you. Damn. Watch my heat <laughs> We're in such a terrible spot right now. It's like only one of them can move, and it's the spider. We're almost done here. This was a long mission. I'm up. More specifically, Decker's up. It's too bad. I wanted Decker to get in on the Shadowhawk, but uh, this will have to do. We could punch you in the back, and that'll be the end of you. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hopefully that Shadowhawk doesn't destroy us Targeting for, physical for this hubris. He's dead, Decker. He's dead. <laughs> Save your ammo. That's a kill. I'm actually wondering if I should get rid of some of the ammo on the fire starter there. Right, this commando is probably going to work away at my shadow hawk. Ooh. We're good. Glitch is up. Hit who? Hit the shadow hawk. Let's drop it. Let's drop this bad boy. It'll definitely fall. I don't know if it'll die. I can't remember how many uh, injuries That's he's taken. Hit. Okay, yeah, didn't think so. And we still have to deal with the uh, actual target. There he is. There's the bad boy. Not feeling too good about that. All right. Behemoth, you're up. I'm taking internal damage. Should we focus on the Shadowhawk? I think that's the right way to go. Yeah, let's attack the Shadowhawk. We'll hit the right torso. We'll try to. And let's try not to burn up here. Go with the M lasers. 25, is that going to be enough? No, it's not going to be enough. Holy crap. Alright, we got nine shots left on the AC-20. Let's fire with this. The other option is, of course, to move into the water just to cool down a little bit but the catapult is going to fire away it's got a lot of m lasers and two lrm 15s i'd hate to be wrecked by that and there's the commando over here as well oh my god way too much to worry about let's do this let's do this Roger that. let's pile those risks one on top of the other back it up come on into the water and we're gonna multi i think Like so. Okay, turn you off. We're overheating. As long as we're not shutting down. Yeah, I'll take the risk. I'll the trade-off between hit chance and and damage. Okay, well, we got a good hit there. Oh, boy. There's the arm. Shadowhawk's gonna get up and probably punch the fire starter here. Wait, but with what? He's gonna kick it, not punch it. Maybe he's out of ammunition. If I Nope. There it is. We're good. We're good. We're alive. Decker, you're up. Get at the back of the commando. Maybe. Yes. Good, good, good. Let's do it. Because that commando's up next, if I'm not mistaken. 
So we're gonna fire into the back of this thing. Hopefully destroy it. Nice. All right, there we go. Feeling a lot better right now. Okay, not so good right now, but, you know, that'll change. Glitch, you're up. And glitch, you're gonna hit the Shadowhawk and hopefully destroy it with enough shots on the back there. Almost out of ammo. Burning up, oh man. Not liking this. We're burning up, we're almost out of ammo. Still have the main mech to destroy. Alright, good, good, good. Now it's 3v1. The earnings from this mission, almost certainly not worth the pain. Yes, Commander. Okay, you know what? We're gonna cool you off. Brace. Decker, you're up. Commander. I'm gonna jump you up this way, I think. Get you into the trees as well. Watch Decker dies in this mission. And we're gonna brace you. Vigilance gives us guarded and entrenched and removes all stability damage. Gives us more initiative, but I don't need that right now. Yeah, I think I'm good just bracing. Okay, go ahead. Ooh, little jump jets. Oh, this is not good. This has been a very expensive mission, guys. This has been a ridiculously expensive mission. But it is what it is. Is what it is. Let's, uh, yeah, fire away and try to drop this mech. Target I'm aware the primary target's engaged. Thank you. Behemoth, are you able to shoot from there? Unfortunately, no. So you're going to have to move. Let's get you the tree cover. Got that AC-20 still, so that's good. I definitely want a precision strike and try to hit the CT on this thing. I don't want the catapult. I mean, I do, but, you know. I also want to come out alive, for the most part. Roger that. Damn it. Being an arm, it doesn't have... <laughs> I guess that counts as an arm. Alright, it's unsteady. That's good. Decker, you're up. We could you. fire from where we are. We have to move in, obviously. We could move in to fire into its back. Definitely the way to go. Let's do it. Let's destroy this thing. I can't stand to watch this mission anymore. It's giving me, like, heart palpitations. Alright, alright. Still me. Glitch, you're up. We can drop this mech, potentially. No, no, we can't. I wonder if we might as well eject at this point. It's between ejecting and moving into, like, punch. And as you can see, I'm moving into punch. Okay, what are you up to? Nothing worthwhile. Alright. Behemoth, you're up. Hopefully you can get these shots in. Yes, you can. Attempting to precision strike like a leg off or something. Or like this little torso piece. It's the worst that could happen. Firing on target. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Pilot injured. Inflicted. Very close to dropping him as well. Can't vent fast enough. I'm taking damage. Decker, moving for the punch. On this side, yeah, 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 let's do it. Location confirmed. Should knock him down, and maybe we'll get some head hits if we're lucky. Come on, really? Not gonna knock down? Kidding me. There we go, knock down, excellent. Excellent. We might be able to get this mech. I don't know if he'll have four injuries, though, because he's an elite mech warrior. Commander? I wouldn't be surprised. Well, we can jump to get real close. All right, here we go. Putting the hawk in Shadow Hawk with the jumping around this mission. Holy crap. All right, brace you. Still my turn. Behemoth, Ready you're able order. to fire. We can't precision strike, unfortunately, so knowing my luck, we're going to hit the CT. Well, we actually, we can't call shot. What am I saying? 
What am I saying, guys? So overheating. We're gonna lose like a torso piece or something. Oh, we're actually gonna lose the torso piece. Let's do this. Eh, kind of worked. Critical hit coming. The ammo destruction not uh, cause an explosion that then caused uh, an injury. Come on now. Come on, now don't toy with me. We're so close to getting it. Now I just want to get it. Oh, damn it. All right, well, we can get behind it, so that's fine. Ready for orders. Move in. Punch into your side like that. Copy that. Come on now. Get a good hit. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, now fire away. And then take care of this right torso piece. Or just horribly miss. Oh, come on. No? I guess not. So he takes four injuries. Well, we got the head hit, so that's good. What are you going to do? Punch me? Kick me? Headbutt me? Do something, damn it. Oh, you're going to fire lasers into my back. We're good. We're good. Glitch, your turn to punch. Again, from the same side, if we can do it. Yeah. Let's hope for the best. Well, punch. You know what I mean. Kick, headbutt, whatever it'll do. Nice. Nice. Well done. You managed to wipe the Op 4 out. I can do an extract right now. No need to get to our planned LZ. Mission successful. I would barely call that a successful mission. Holy crap, that took everything out of us. I wish we could see what the total operating costs are going to be. Because we made what? We made 67k. We're not making that money back. 60, or like we're not making any of that money. 67k. Party lead's going to be gone for 40 days plus. Holy crap. All right. Might as well get the catapult since we, you know, worked at it, I guess. And we could get ourselves... Is there another mech we could end up with? We could end up with a griffin. So let's do that. Maybe we'll sell it because that'll be worth it, right? Um, yeah. All right, cool. Holy crap. So let's confirm that. So, I mean, this is worth it. At least there's that. We got a couple spider parts. We got a locust part. We got the griffin completed. And we got the catapult completed, which is nice. So now we have a trebuchet and a catapult. Maybe I'll make the catapult my LRM boat. Um, all right, continue with that. I'm just curious as to what the balance is going to be. So we're just going to repair all of our mechs just to see the difference here. Just to see the difference here. Because, man, that was an expensive mission. I, did a, I made a lot of mistakes. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I made a lot of mistakes. I don't know why. I just took too many risks. All right, the Griffin 1S's mount close range weaponry. What? Closer range weaponry than their 1N cousins, allowing them to jump in for closer attacks and move away to disengage your flank. They're generally better at dealing with heat buildup, too. All right, should we put Decker into the Griffin? It's kind of. It sounds like it's a bit of a flanker or a, uh, you know, a nice little skirmisher. So we could we could put Decker into it. Seems like a fun idea. Let me know your thoughts down below. And the Catapult C-1, just like its namesake, it's good at lobbing large numbers of missiles over terrain without fear of return fire. Surprisingly, it's also not too shabby at closer ranges in a pinch. We'll see about that. All right. Holy crap, party. So we had 67k, right? That's how much we earned here, 67k? Well, let's see. Got a hawk. Repair. I'm sitting here with a calculator in my hand, well, like with my phone in my hand. All right, you know what? Fine, let's subtract 150. <sighs> okay. Uh, you need to be refit. You have everything is gone here. All of our M Laser Plus Pluses. So, like, yeah, we've lost a lot of money here. At least we can replace this M Laser on the uh, right arm. Right? We've got we've got one of those. Let's get an L Laser Plus Plus instead. No, no. There we go. And repair everything. How much How much did that cost me? Okay, another 158. Let's say 159 just to be nice and round. Right? This is terrible. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. And the, the Hunchback. I just sold a bunch of M Lasers as well. Oh my god. 
there was nothing left in this mech. Yep, yep, repair, repair. Or rather, replace, I should say. Holy crap. All right. So equipment-wise, we want to get two heat sinks over here and a jump jet. I'm trying to remember what this thing actually looked like. We have... I could get some L lasers in here instead. But no. We're going to go M laser and then six M lasers over here. Okay. Maybe I get some PPCs instead. Damage 50 is not a bad idea. Causes stability damage as well. You know what? I'm actually feeling it. Oh, well, why not get another M laser in here? Okay, cool. And then over here, we could get another M laser, right? What else? What else do we have on this mech? We had an S laser, right? So we can get that back on here. Two heat sinks were removed. One jump jet was removed. And then, oh no, a lot. Oh yeah, there was a ton of heat sinks over here, right? That's what it was. That's what it was. It was like... Well, let's see how heat efficient... Oh my god, that's that's not heat efficiency at all. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, I don't think we can do the PPC. Maybe we swap things around a little bit and reconsider our options so we can get a PPC in here because I would like that. I would like that. Could add some more S lasers. I don't know. I don't know, guys. What do you think? What do you think? The other option is to put a PPC over here. Well, God, no. Or an L laser. Takes us a little overweight, but we can reduce some of that weight off the legs or something. I'm not talking about reducing weight right now. To hell with that. We took enough damage. Let's get some S lasers in here and in here. And you know what? We'll get some more armor in here as well. A little bit more. A little bit more. Again, I just I don't want to just click on max armor because that distributes it like evenly, I guess. I want to be more specific with how I get this armor laid out. There we go. Boom. And yes, repair everything as well. And that's another 360, let's say two. Wow. So in total, this mission cost us 604,000. 604,000. We need to sell something. I might sell the trebuchet. Maybe we sell the centurion. Make some of that money back because we need it. We're sub one mil. Holy crap. And we have a lot of equipment as well that we can sell, of course. Like if we take a look at our options here, if it'll load up, we're not selling the blackjack, of course. That's the family heirloom. So we're keeping the, the blackjack. But, you know, we get rid of the trebuchet over here. Make almost half a mil. We got a lot of, you know, L lasers and, 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 and SRMs and heat sinks. We've got more heat sinks than, you know, you need. Jump jets as well. There's options. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Again, if you enjoy this series, the best way to let me know is with a like and a comment. That makes a massive difference in... Um, Letting me know that I should continue this series at the current pace, maybe a little bit faster if you say so in the comments as well. I'm definitely having a good time still, hopefully you are as well. As always, a massive thanks to all of my patrons for supporting this channel on a month-to-month -month basis. It makes a massive difference in keeping it running smooth. A big thank you as well for watching, of course, and until next time, cheers.